Uh, bottom line is here's how we done it last night. Everybody's sipping and sampling. It got to the end of it where the, the business is. I explained about my website uh, for my book, how much it costs me to host it. I'm showing value of how inexpensive it is to run a multi-million dollar business. I've never seen anything where everybody here, you have the ability to become a seven figure earner in the course of three, four years or five years. If it take you 10 years, can you do that? Uh, at what you're currently doing, the answer that I found lately is no. And so we're going to make that happen quicker because this is exactly how it went down here last night. Bottom line, when we started talking about buying a business, uh, we, we started at the $500 packages and the value you have of having enough product to get into business to make things, uh, to, to make things really happen. And so we showed the value. You're getting about $1,000 plus of retail product. That is your entry into the business. That gets you the first month of your websites. That gets you your hosting for the first month. And then, and after that, you need to be on whatever products it's going to take you to accomplish what you're after for your health. Because your health is the number one reason you're doing this to start with. I know everybody wants to make money, but the most important thing to you is your health. I already know I've already been very sick in my life. And I can tell you this, if you don't take care of your health, number one, if, you're, if your after looks worse than your before, you got a problem. What you're doing ain't working. I have products here that I know that consistently works if you work, if you, if you ingest them. So the beautiful part about this is you tell your story, you incorporate your story. We're all a work in progress and you have to get committed to something to what? To, to, to become valuable, to become an asset to your family. Or if you're not, you're just going to be a liability. So, and we started with the $500 packages and then I, I explained how they're getting the business, how they, they were able to do the sipping samples. And how, how everybody, uh, you're going to do one of two things, become a customer, you're going to get in business with us. And the beautiful part about it, everybody that got in business with us last night chose the $589 package. And when we got to that, when I told them how much it cost, you were buying a business, I wait until I got the response out of them. And then I said, well, now there is a smaller package for $299, but that $589 gives you uh, your qualified leg. And when you get your customers, that takes that qualified leg to almost double qualified. And bottom line, I, I explained just a little bit about the $299. And I said, for the guys that can't afford that, we have a $99 package with a $50 uh, half price code on it. And there's, hey, everybody is valuable. But don't make up your mind that you know what that person's capable of doing or they're not capable of doing. Stop selling yourself a little bit cheap for this $99 and this $50 deal. When you're buying a business, uh, like Ronnie and I were talking today, and I'll let him tell about what we talked about. When you're buying a business, my family, I owned a chain of grocery stores when I was younger, and I know what it took every week to, to fill those shelves in that grocery store, to turn the key, to open it up, to become profitable, to be able to conduct business. This, this value package puts them in a position to start earning money right now, and also to pay for itself, but to go ahead and gather the customers, gather the other reps, because you have enough product to do business. And therefore, $589 is no money to buy a business. And so I think we're, we're, we're thinking too much into this. Like, oh, they can't afford it. They can afford anything else they want. But this is a life-changing business that gives you the ability to what? To change the course of history for your, uh, for your family. So bottom line, everybody that was here that got into business last night did the 589 package. They set up at least about a $200 auto ship because they saw the value and what they needed for, for their health. We've established where they want to go with their health, what uh, their health, what they needed, what they wanted to accomplish. And then I asked them, where do you see yourself in a year health-wise? Well, we got to get committed to something to get you on that journey. And where do you see yourself in a year buying this business? And it was just a beautiful thing last night when, when everybody started to realize what I've got. They got out of the welfare state of mind. I, I can barely get it. So $20 people, $50 people, $100 people, that is no money uh, to get you excited about getting busy. Even though a bunch of people here, you got really busy. All of you are up for promotions. They hit these rank up bonuses. You know, we got people fixing to go double, triple diamond in here. You've been with us about a year and you're really setting records. You're making things happen. But bottom line is you got to do this thing in the correct order. See, the laws are put into place that govern your and guarantee your success. And if you continually defy the laws of health and defy the laws of business and you think you're going to get ahead, you're not going to get ahead. And, and bottom line, we want to do this thing correctly. We want to take this to a new professionalism. And, you, and you, that starts with each of us becoming professional to create that professionalism. And when you do that, guess what happens? People, they want to listen to you. They're, they're excited about it because you know why? Because you're creating your own story. And once you create your own story, you're sharing that story. That's how you become the brand. 
And that's how you start to monetize you as a brand. As you share what has happened to you, you got a great before and after. You share that particular story with people and they begin to want what you've got. I didn't say sell it. You're sharing that story. And so bottom line, you can always start high and you can't never, uh, if you start low, you can't, it's hard to go up. But when you start up here and give them the value of the 589, there's two different packages there. That includes their business, that includes everything. And you can work your way down to what they can afford and where we get started. But I found out by the people that come in last night, it was a stretch for them to do the 589. But by today, the they all have their four customers. They got very proactive because what? They had, they're invested in this business. And when they're invested in the business, they got, they got well, 600, well, almost $700 into here. And they are invested. But guess what happens? They take a proactive approach. But I think in 24 hours, I've seen people really take ownership of this big business. And once they took ownership of it, they have enough invested. They want to return on their money. And therefore, they became proactive. And right out of the gate, they started making things happen in the first 24 hours. And I got really excited. And I'm really thankful for Mark putting these bigger packages together, but also that's a qualified leg for them. And guess what? When they talk to people today, you know what they talked about? Well, how did you come in? Well, we come in for the full boat. We're in business. We are really in business. And therefore the people that we've talked to on their behalf today is looking at the 589 package. And so what I'm trying to get across to you, stop thinking that you know what that person can or can afford. They can afford the value that you share with them through your story and making them understand the value of this business. And once you make them understand the value of this business, guess what happens? Well, they start to see the value, but they become extremely proactive and they come proactive right out of the gate. And now it's our job, as a person gets into business with us, we start to grow the individual through self-help, self-development. Because whatever your belief system is right now, that's all you're gonna expect. That's the only expectation you got is whatever you believe at this particular point. And so bottom line, if you're not muted, go ahead and mute yourself. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. And and whatever your whatever you believe, I don't care what your learned behavior is from childhood to now. I don't care really what happened in your life up to now. We've all had bad things that happen. We all had people to die. We've all been sick. We've all been behind the eight ball. We all been poor. But whatever your belief system is now is the only expectation you're going to have. And when you have that expectation, you don't expect much, you're not going to get much. And you can't give what you don't have. So I believe in self-development. I do it every single day. I believe you need to take ownership of your physical well-being. I think exercise is a big proponent, a big key to making it happen. If it's nothing more than a 10-minute walk, I think putting the right things in your body to fuel your body for what it needs, that's how you grow into the next level of health. And that's also how you grow a business. And therefore, you're creating your story because that is what brands you. And as you share that story, that's what monetizes you as the brand. Now, how do I know this? I've been in business longer than everybody, and it works global. I've been with Mr. Pentecost since almost the very beginning. I'm not going anywhere. The business is crazy, but I'm more excited about this particular team than anything we have going, and it works global today. And I'll tell you why, because you guys are hungry. You're doing the right things. And I want to. it's my job to coach you to that next level, but coach your belief system. i got to change the belief system, and you got to want to change the belief system so we can start to change the expectation. You're only going to get what you expect to get. If you think it's going to be a shitty day, it's going to be a shitty day. If you think it's going to be a great day, it's going to be a great day. But then you'll feed into whatever you think this day is going to be. And, and, and you're around the people that pull you down, all the negativity. You have to step up and step away from it. And I tell people all the time how I got to where I am. I got with those, those temporary people that was in my life, just the temporaries. And when I realized they were temporary people, I stepped up and stepped away from them. And I started hanging out with different people that were going somewhere, places I wanted to go, people I wanted to be with that would celebrate who I was and want to take me to the next level of life. And I could never do that around with these broke negative people. You know why? Because they wasn't expecting the same things I was expecting. They was expecting just the same old poverty mindset, poverty hell. And they always made excuses and they would grin about it. And like Ronnie once said, if we can get you laughing about your situation, you just accept it. And if you just accept it, therefore, you don't have an expectation to what? To do better. Because therefore, you're used to define the laws. And here's what happens. It actually happened in our family in the last four weeks. It happened to some friends of ours yesterday. One morning, somebody don't wake up because you've defied the law. You defied the laws of health. You defied the laws of business. You defy all those laws. And what is easy to do is easy not to do. And I know most of you guys that follow my lives, you hear me say that every day. I can't say it enough to get it through right here. See, your prime real estate is between your six inches between your, your ears. 
It, you cannot grow in your belief system or your expectation if you're not feeding the, the, your brain, if you're not feeling your mindset, and it's only going to go uh, as far as you fed it. That's all it knows to do because everything you've done to this point is a social learned behavior. And most of our parents is the ones that made us very weak because they want to coddle you. They want to protect you. And therefore, they should have let you fail two or three good times so you would get stronger. And that would create a different belief system, but that creates a different expectation. And once you expect more, you'll go out and do more to get what you expect. Does, does that make any sense to y'all? So, Ronnie, uh, unmute yourself. Come on. I want you to talk about uh, the, uh, the, the business that you and your parents had uh, when they expected you to, to buy what, the four or five pallets of stuff right up front. Uh, uh, tell them that story. Yeah, I was telling you, my dad had a um... – we sold convenience, so uh, service convenience stores, and we sold beef jerky and pork rinds, and that's all we sold. And uh, so we were doing very well, and then it got to where the new company we wanted to go with the new company. So I we went to visit with them, and they said that uh, to do this, we would have to order a minimum to have it shipped towards the stuff, uh, be five pallets, and come from you know from Tennessee to North Carolina, you know, five pallets of uh, pork rind. That's a lot, but to be a distributor in this area. At that level, uh, Dad wanted to do it. He's like, I, want, I don't want to piddle with it. And he said, I don't want to have to worry about other people being there. I want to be your main distributor. And if anybody in this area wants to represent your company, uh, let them represent it through us. We become the main distributor. And to do that, it sort of caught them off guard because they usually had people buying just a little bit of stuff and piddling. And, you know, they might have 20 distributors. and in one town and dad approached him because he wanted to be the main one. And he goes, and if they buy, they buy from us. What do, what will it take? And he threw out five pallets and dad said, all right, how much would that be? And it was, uh, I think it was like seven, almost, it was over $5,000. I know <laughs> I was like, wow, that's, that's a lot of money to spend out, not knowing if we're going to sell it. And dad said, well, that's where you're wrong. That's what he meant. He said, we're going to sell it. He said, we're going to sell it before it gets here. And I said, what do you mean? He said, because I'm not setting my money up waiting for it to sell and then to get it back. He goes, they're going to deliver here in two weeks. Within two weeks, we're going to have this laid out so we know what stores are taking it, and we're going to have it sold before we even get through within a week. And sure enough, we went and pre-sold these to all the stores in this area. We had every case, every bag sold by the time we got in here. So what ended up happening, he had a plan. He knew it was going to cost more to get to that level. But once we did that, we ended up having 20 people buying from us in this North South Carolina uh, and uh, Virginia area, and we were the major uh, distributor. But like I was telling Rusty, I said, but it was a lot of money to, to be able to come into a company, but to come into that level, that's what we had to do. But what made us do it was Dad had a plan. He wanted, He knew, let people get it. Go ahead and put it out there. It was already sold before we got it. That's the good thing about this new product or this new uh, packages. When you do a tasting, you're getting product in. It's already sold. You're talking about it. Everybody on this Zoom right now has got people that we've talked to that have actually said before, I guarantee it, has actually said, man, I, I want to try it. So why are we not letting them try it? We need to be having tastings, letting them try because once they try it, they're going to be just like us. They're going to be hooked on it. First thing they'll do is, like, oh, my God. This thing's unbelievable. I mean, like we lied to him, but it's just crazy. But when Rusty was telling me about what happened last night, you know, I told him, I said, that's exactly what Dad was doing. You got to let them have it. You got to bring it in, but you got to put a plan together. And by buying a big package like that, you figure if it costs you $500, you will get $1,000 if you sell it out. There's people that don't want to sign for a little customer. They want to try one for a week. Put them a little package together for a week. There's $20. Exactly. What you want to do is to start thinking like business people. It's been too long um, as, as people started following the followers. And so followers are always looking for the exit sign. They're looking for the way out. They don't want to get committed to anything. And when it gets a little hard, they're going to quit and run. And people are used to following followers. And so I'm proud of this team here because you guys are showing that leadership and we're stepping up into that leadership. What does people really follow? They don't follow titles. They don't care what your name is or the acronym in front of it. People follow courage. The people that's ready to stand up, very boldly step out and follow that courage and, and, and the boldness of a person 
Therefore, that constitutes the, the, the integrity, the character of the person, that rock. That rock is going to stand there and if, if through the course of time that you will be there for those people to lead your organization. And I was re I'm started reading another book about General George Patton. It's D-Day. Uh, and I'm very, uh, it's a very sensitive issue to me. My grandfather fought with uh, General George Patton in the Second World War. I heard the, all the stories. But to how that man led his people, he always led them in the battle because he was so bold and he had the courage uh, of, of, of a great general. That's why he was a great general. And with that particular courage, his men would follow him anywhere is what was told to me by my grandfather. And then if you got people that are following followers, well, they're going to cut and run. They're always looking for a way out, not a way to get committed or be held accountable. So, you know, the beautiful part about uh, uh, following people with courage, you start to gain the courage. You start to gain the hope. You start to gain everything you need to carry your life, your business to the next level. And that's why I always talk about you need to see where you want to be, the finished product, in at least a year from now. Where do I want to be? And it's like Ronnie. He saw his finished product over a year ago. And now look from where he was to where he is. Now, things are a lot better, isn't it, Ronnie? So once you understand things get better, when you apply yourself and you show up every single day, but the point of this is sip and sample. When Rob and I grew this business to eight figures, we were doing what they called wrap parties back then. And we had some greens they could sample, uh, but we were doing those four, five, six nights a week, whereas out there we we're banging it, busting it. And now we have a pretty large business, but we're still hungry. So we want to teach you the right course. We have a new line of product. We have product. And what excited me last night is everybody that tried those sip and samples, everybody said, well, I feel different. I can feel the energy. I just feel good. And they didn't feel good before they got here. And therefore, once they felt it, they wanted other people to feel what they uh, like they felt, that they needed enough product to get started. That's why the 589 is the best value in the deal because it's getting you, I think when I looked at it today, Ronnie, it was over $1,000 worth of retail product that you're going to get. You got a business and you are in business and therefore you're going to what, become more proactive in order to get this business launched because you know once you gather the four customers and you finish step two, that's $100 worth of uh, a free product for your new distributors. And when you, when you teach, show the other the three reps and three will take you to the top and you show them how to effectively complete steps one and two, the 589 was not a problem here last night. Now I could have said, well, I know that y'all got your jobs aren't that good and I see what you drive. But when I shared the value of them changing their lifestyle, that was not a problem. Now I'm not opposed to do the 99 and the $50 code. I'm just not opposed to it. I believe everybody deserves a chance, but I don't think it is our job to go out and say, wow, um, you can't afford it. I'll just get you the 20 or the $50 code. And you know, at that point you've not risked anything. The people that I saw from in the last, in the last 24 hours, they put, put it on the line and they're already got the $100 uh, free product coming and they got people ready to duplicate exactly what they done. And so you have something for everybody, but you can't start at 99 and work your way to 589. You need to start up here because that is a qualified leg. It only takes that person and three more to create a ruby. And therefore the guarantee is kicked in. Not only do they have enough product to work with, that is a, a ruby guarantee. And if they teach the duplication, the emerald will not be without their reach. The diamond won't even be without their reach by the end of the month. I don't know what $10,000 bonus would do for you and a couple thousand dollars a month, but you start to think, well, how would that change my life if I really went to work and got that done this month? It's not out of your, the only reason you won't do it is because your belief level is not there and you don't expect it. But when you raise your belief level and you create the expectancy that your action will follow and you'll become what a professional in this business. Where in the world can you go for a business like this? If you become a doctor, you got to spend eight to 12 years in school, hundreds of thousands of dollars of uh, college tuition or debt before you make a penny. And therefore you can get started in this business and earn while you learn. And I just happen to believe that we're one of the best companies in the entire world. I think our leadership is unparalleled to anything I've ever seen because we have a test of time here. See, the product line is not on trial. This business model is definitely not on trial. The only thing that's on trial is us. We're the ones on trial to take it to the next level. You say you want it. You say you need it. You, you want to change your life. But bottom line, if you're going to change your life, we've got to change the belief system. You've got to get invested in this deal. That's why I'm so adamant about getting your auto ship run on the 1st or the 5th of the month. I'm adamant about all that stuff happening right now and becoming proactive. Do you know why? Once you become proactive, you won't be reactive because if you play that reactive thing, 
you're going to become inactive and it's there again the same pattern the predictable patterns that we've learned from social learned behavior by the people we hang with most of that is our family we learn what they did how they done it do you really want to end up like them well the answer to me is absolutely not I want to take what my father started and I want to take it much further than he ever took it. And I told my daughters, whatever I accomplish before I go, I want you to take what I've done and take it much further than I took it. I want you to go out and, and take ownership of your life because this thing called life is very important. And, you know, we've had some deaths in our family this in the last four weeks. And say, so, like I say, one morning somebody don't wake up and, it, and it's painful. But I don't want to be the liability to my family where my wife has to do what she did for me once before she had to, feed me, bathe me, and do other things that Amanda does not want his sweetheart doing for him because I was in a liability state because I what? I defied the laws of success. I defied the laws of health. I defied the laws of pushing me to the next level when I could have took something like it simplistically, took simple and, and, and made a fortune with it. So that's what we've done the last 18 years. We've took simple, we've kept it simple, and we've taken it to the next level. That's why this organization is still here. That's why the leaders that came with us in the early days are all still here. We don't follow the followers. We follow the leaders. Y'all remember the first grade? What was that little game we played? Follow the, uh, uh, not the quitter, not the loser. No, follow the leader. So it's easy to quit. So what is easy to do is easy not to do. When you take the easy to do, it's a little bit harder. But when you do a little bit harder, you get a little bit stronger. So you start to grow into the next day and you start to what, develop the mental fortitude. You develop the character. You develop the authenticity of who you are. You develop the boldness. You develop the courage. And once you do that, that is what people buy into is your courage and your finite plan of action. Absolutely not. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to get it done. And you know what? When that starts to happen, people, get, they, they gain their own confidence. And that's where you start to develop leadership. Not quittership, not sit on my ass and wait till, till Monday. That's what follow the followers do. That's what they do. They always have to wait and I have to figure it out and I have to, you know, I have to do some research and study. Most of us can't read good enough to do a lot of research. And therefore we take the system and we complicate it and we don't need to complicate it. We just need to run, run free. If you've ever had a dream in your heart and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of getting up somewhere you don't want to go to do something you don't want to do for somebody you don't want to do it for because you're underappreciated, you're underpaid, you're under everything and therefore you're under a lot of stress on top of that and you're living for the weekend. I can't express to you how living for the weekend is such a broke minded uh, state of mind, but it is a learned behavior. When is the last time you saw somebody living for the weekend that was really enjoying their life? So they need drugs and alcohol and everything else on the weekend to stay numb for two days so they can make it back to Monday, uh, a place that they hate. So if that makes any sense, and so what I want to do is I want to spur you up and spark you up and, and, and I want to encourage you and I want to reach in and I want to hit every core puzzle in you that you got your hands on something that you'll never have your hands on things like this the rest of your life. Now's a chance and the time to make your break for freedom. Now's the time to work harder than you ever have. Now's the time to take advantage of this opportunity on every level and how many lives can you change? Who out there in your sphere of influence right this minute, they need you. They need you to show up in their life. They're sick and tired. How many mothers that want to be stay-at-home mommies that they just had their children and now they're fixing to have to go back to work to make ends meet? I've talked to several of those ladies today. They don't want to go back. They want to be there with their babies, and yet they're going to have to end up going back to work if something don't happen. I said, if you begin to happen, it'll happen. If you create a belief system and an expectation, it'll happen. It'll happen every time because what you keep on getting is what you keep practicing, but it's what you expect. And so you got to raise the expectancy. You're going to have to raise the belief system. When you believe you deserve to be free, when you believe you deserve to live life on a grander scale, when you believe that you need to step up and step out away from the people that's been holding you back because you're going to be just like who you hang around, you, you become the environment that you hang around. You become just the average, the mediocre. If you're tired of those particular people, all it takes is one decision, a decision that you make up your mind, I've had enough of this crap. I've had enough of those people because they just tolerate me. They don't care who I am. They just, they don't celebrate who I am. And when you make your break for freedom, this is what's going to happen. They're going to send the dogs after you. Now, I have a sister that just got a great job. She's a purchasing, global purchasing agent for a major company. She called me the other week. She was crying. They offered her the job. Everybody got jealous. They used to tell her, well, they offered us that job a year ago. I said, are you going to take it? She said, I don't know if I can do it. I said, why? Because they keep, I said, who keeps telling you? I said, why in the hell would the owners of this company offer that to you if they didn't believe you could do it? And you're going to listen to a bunch of broke people that's only making 20 bucks an hour tell you you can't do this. 
And so you're going to listen to them people that can't hardly pay their bills. They live for the weekend that you can't do it. Well, now she took the job and she's excelling beyond their wildest expectations because she stepped out away from those chickens. She realized that she was an eagle. See, an eagle flies four to five miles in the air. And when they need to meet another bird, they know damn good and well it ain't no chicken. They know it's another eagle because the chickens can't fly that high. So when you make up your mind and create an expectation and a belief system that I can do it, I will conquer this, and I will lead my team to victory, that's where your boldness steps up. That's where your courage steps up. And if you ain't got nobody talking crap about you or, or, or that type of thing, that means you ain't doing nothing. You're just down there running in the chickens. And by the way, chickens and pigeons, what do they do? They all flock together. They follow the followers. The only time a chicken will fly, if it feels like its life is threatened, It'll throw the rest of you under the bus till it, it can barely get its fat butt off the ground taking flight. That's the only time a chicken will fly. Every, all the rest of the time, they're just running around in big old flocks. How is that to live life? Guys, I want you to know how much I truly love every one of you. We got our hands on something that's, that's beyond special. We got our hands on something here that's going to be able to take your family, change it, to break the generational curses that's in your family, to take your life to the next level where you live life exactly how you expect and how God actually intended. And whoever told you that you don't deserve the very best in life is a liar. and You need to go get away from him. I don't care if he's your preacher. Get away from him. If he told you that, he don't know what he's talking about. I guarantee you he's big around the waistline and he has defied the laws of hell. And you know what? All I want to do is I want to spark something in you tonight that you believe that you deserve the best in life, but you're willing to go out and fight for what you want. You've got something here like I've never seen in the history of my 57 years of existence uh, that we have here to help you and your family. When you look at your children, you look at what's most important to you and you say, hey, baby, you worth it. And, and my two little girls, when I came home, when I left the bank and came home and got started 18 years ago, every day I said, the reason I did this is because you're worth it. You my little girls. I'm going to fight for everything we got because I'm going to spend the quality time with you. I'm not going to miss no more memories of my children growing up. And for 18 years, we didn't do it. And we stayed and we fought. And there's plenty of times that when we had it hard in the early days and when we got broke and in the first 90, 120 days and Mark had to sell one of his houses, uh, flip his house in order to remortgage it, in order just to pay me my commissions. That's when I made it up my mind. I said, this man that would do that for me, I'm going to fight with him till we all die. And here we are all these years later living the dream. And it's my job to coach you and create the, and establish the hope and the boldness and the courage in you. And we work unified together for the, the, the finished picture, the objective, that where we want to go, that how you believe you should live and the, the people you should be able to take care of, which is your kids. And you start to instill this, this courage in your children where they won't, they're going to duplicate the efforts that you're doing now. And you know what? You're going to live life on your terms. And you know what? We're just going to do it. We're going to do it till we all win. And there ain't no quitting in this particular team. And I'm highly excited and proud of this particular team. You know why? Because you guys are doing it. You're out there every single day. I communicate with most of you every day, and I'm watching what you're doing. You're doing it, and you're doing it because your dream has been recreated. All we're going to do is take it to the next level of professionalism. If you'll go look at those new packages, and you're, you can effectively share your story and effectively share the value of those packages, how when you get into business, you take ownership of it, and how when you start to take ownership of it, you're going to help alleviate some debt. You're going to have to alleviate and, and encourage a person to start to dream again. The only thing I see is lacking in the world today because we operate all over the world is people have lost their ability to dream. And when it gets a little hard, they're going to what? They're going to follow the followers. But when you become bold and you can become courageous and you show that courage, we'll fight them in the hedgerows. Like Winston Churchill said, when Hitler was bombing uh, uh, England, 6,000 people were dying every night in England in the bombing raids, if you watch that today. And you know what? Uh, Winston Churchill was down in this small uh, oratory, this little room, and he would broadcast over, we're going to fight Hitler in the hedgerows. We, they will not conquer us. They will not take us over. And those people laid their life on the line so we could have an opportunity like this. You know, it's D-Day. And there's people for our freedom. They went in and fought. They gave it everything they had. They, they sacrificed everything they had so we could have everything we want. So tell me tonight, what do you want? Where do you want to go in life? What have you just made up your mind to do? And I'll tell you what, when you make up your mind and you change that belief system, your expectancy starts to change. And when your expectancy changes, your, your physical well-being changes, your banking account changes, your relationships change, everything begins to flow and go where you want it to go. And, and, and you create a new behavior that your children and the people around you start to learn something new from you because what? You just stepped into your boldness and you become very courageous and your courage stepped up. And you don't know the end's not winning. You don't know how to lose because you won't quit. Does that make any sense? 
Ronnie, you got anything else to add? No, I think that's it, man. Let's just go uh, do some sippings and let people taste this product, man. It's unbelievable. All right, guys. I love you. You matter to me, and I like to close everything I do. Wherever you see me speak, I need you to know who you are. Most people don't believe you deserve it because they don't know who you are. And I'm not overly religious because my parents were ministers. But I do believe this is a core value system. I'm, I'm actually prepared to die over this. I believe before the foundation of the world that God Almighty chose every one of us. And I believe he gave you everything at birth, your courage, your strength, your, uh, uh, your seeds of greatness. It will manifest as you grow into it. And I believe when your, your daddy's sperm hit your mother's egg, that that was predestined before the foundation of the world, that you were predestined to be here. And when you was nothing more than a fertilized egg going down your mother's fallopian tube, he started throwing everything that you need to be highly successful to fulfill what? To fulfill a particular purpose because you were birthed into a blueprint and that had a, had a purpose to your blueprint, but it also was the, the principle was built into the blueprint. And therefore, you're birthed in the blueprint with everything you had. The only thing that's changed from that blueprint is a particular learned behavior that you need to unlearn. You need to learn some new behaviors. And I believe since the beginning of time till the end of time, there's never been another person like each one of you, nor your families, nor your children. I just happen to believe that you deserve the very best in life. And see, what, what happens when, when you understand that, that since the beginning of time till the end, there's never been nobody like you. that constitutes the value of how valuable you are, how much you matter, that you're priceless, that you're one of a kind. You're put here by God Almighty. He cannot make a mistake, in, in my opinion. That's what I believe. And so once that constitutes the value and how much you matter, you become a reflection through unconditional love. And it's our job to share it to other people, to model and mirror something different. And it's our job to make other people aware that they have the ability to live the best life they've ever had. And they deserve the very best, better than their parents ever had it. And you, you were born here to take life to the real next level, to start to create a legendary legacy. And once you understand who you are and what you deserve, and you've got everything you need this very minute, the boldness will start to show up. The courage will start to show up. And you'll start to what? You will quit following the followers. You'll start following the leaders. And all of a sudden, there'll people be following you because you're what? You're leading from the front. Guys, I love you. You matter to me. Until in the morning, I'll make this the best night you've ever had. Good night. Good night.